Well, hello everybody. My name is David Pittman and I'm director of the Army Corps of Engineers Engineer Research and Development Center. We're standing here in one of our research facilities at Erdic. We call it Hangar 2. It's a giant hangar that we do a lot of pavements testing. I started here in 1983, over 40 years ago, studying in this hangar pavements research. We're the world's experts in airfields and pavements for the military and a lot on the civil side as well. So my journey as an engineer actually started when I was a little boy. My daddy was a contractor, built bridges for a living, and I actually helped my dad in the summers build bridges. I was pouring concrete and tying steel when I was just a teenager. And my father sat me down one day, he said, son, I think you need to be an engineer. I didn't really know exactly what that was, but I said, yes, sir. And boy, I'm glad he set me on that journey. Went to Mississippi State University here in Mississippi, got my civil engineering degree and started here in December of 1983 at the world's best civil engineering R&D organizations, ERDIC. That got me into not just engineering, but engineering for the future. Just discovering what we need to do to solve some of the world's biggest challenges. And what better way to talk about the theme of Engineer Week, which is welcome to the future. That's what we do at ERDIC. We discover the future today. So we apply engineering principles and technologies, your engineers out there, you understand that we solve problems. That's what we do at ERDIC from civil works, water resources management, floods, coastal storms, hurricanes, that whole mission to our military mission. We're the Army Corps of Engineers. So we're helping to win future wars every day. With all of our worldwide partners, we're solving some of the world's toughest challenges every day. So thank you for being an engineer, whether you're an engineer in practice, you're actually solving the, some of the world's biggest challenges through engineering techniques and construction, or you're in R&D like we are, doing the discovery piece of that, discover, develop, deliver, is what we say. All right, somewhere in between, on that spectrum, we need you. At Erdic alone, but some of the world's best research labs and the Corps of Engineers, we've doubled our R&D program in the last seven years. We've increased our workforce up to 2,500 people, and that's probably 20, 30% growth over the last few years. The Corps of Engineers has doubled in size and program uh, to over $90 billion today. So these challenges that we have aren't getting smaller, they're getting bigger. There are many, many challenges that we need some of the world's best problem solvers to solve, and that's you. So join me on this journey that I'm going on and thousands of engineers out there around the world. We need you, thank you for what you're doing, and thanks for engineering for the future.